Welcome back to I Am Angus, brought to you by the American Angus Association and the Igenity Profile for Angus, providing Angus breeders with comprehensive genomic results for multiple economically important traits. When I was growing up, uh, we went out in the backyard and there was farms as far as you could see, miles. And uh, little by little, uh, it grew up. You know, people started selling off and they couldn't uh, keep the small farms. They, they'd sell a lot here and a lot there. And before you know it, they, they found out that, you know, the you know, way to survive was to sell the property. I felt as though we needed a different angle um, because we weren't making a profit here at Blackbird Farm and we needed to. We needed to support the farm. Um, one day I was on the local paper looking through the um, Farm Bureau magazine and came across an article 250 chefs looking for different farmers in the state to provide different types of food and one email that I sent got me three emails back. All of a sudden we can't keep up with the demand. We get a call a day from people that uh, want us to supply to them and I think is probably going to have a much uh, greater impact on Rhode Island because we're nothing but small farms here. There are no large farms left in Rhode Island. And uh, uh, locally grown really means uh, the people coming back to the small farms. Knowing where the food's coming from, knowing the people that are supplying you with the product is very important. Building relationships and they become friends. So that's kind of what our restaurants really, really pushes and strives for. We didn't have a market and we created a market. Uh, we sell our beef on the property and the farm makes money to pay for itself now. It seems like every time I come here to Blackbird I see people coming out here to take a look at their product. And that means that the population is curious about it. It means there's an increased demand. And I also think it means, at least to us, that we can offset the cost of operation um, with the sale of our product, which I, I, don't, I hadn't seen that in the past. Raising the Angus cattle comes down to, I, could, I, I have much more consistency in the end product than the, I think than any other breed. Uh, and the consistency is what my, you know, what the customer wants. I like Angus because, uh, you know, the whole point of being in the beef industry is, uh, you know, you're raising them so that you can get a better cut of meat every time. Growing up here in Rhode Island, my brother and I would go to a local restaurant and they were very proud that they had, they had steaks on the menu and they had Angus on the um, And, you know, my dad would always order Angus. And I remember this, you know, this was 70s, 80s, you know, early 80s. It really tasted phenomenal. Uh, you know, I think that we got away from that for a little while there in the late 80s and 90s. But I had the tenderloins from, from these animals just a few weeks ago, and it really tasted phenomenal. It reminded me and my brother what we would get when we were kids. And I think that's, you know, that was, that was a word that we remembered from kids from seeing that on the menu, Angus. The Angus breed has meant a lot to me and my family. Um, it's kept our family together and, and I think that it's been a great venture for us. You're going to see some farms uh, survive that ordinarily would not have. I think they would have been growing uh, raised ranch houses on these farms and now I think they're going to be probably being able to make it. It's just a lot of pride. It really is a lot of pride. When somebody says that they tasted your beef or they went to a restaurant and and uh, had Blackbird Farm beef, uh, there's some amount of pride that, that comes out there. Um, it really makes you feel good that you raised that and it went on and, and people are, are you know, enjoying it. We don't just do this for the money. It, it is about keeping us together and preserving a farm that's been around for hundreds of years. Um, and I want everybody to know that. American Angus Association regional managers are sources of information on Angus selection tools and can provide you with assistance when purchasing and developing an Angus breeding program. Coming up next, he was a five-star general, an American president, and was a passionate Angus breeder.